Yo, yo, what's goody world? We are back. It is Nolo and T. Let me get in focus. Yeah. Up, hey, look, we're back with someone new. We're adding Jim Jeffries to the Rolodex. Okay. Jim People been telling us to check out this gun control. There's apparently two parts because this is part one. I don't know. Maybe it's more than two parts. But um, this is part one. Jim Jeffries gun control. You ready, babe? Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's rock. Now, before I start saying this, I want to say this, right? I believe in your right as Americans to have guns. I'm not trying. Sounds Australian. What you think? Before I start saying this, I want to say. He only. I can't. I need to hear a full sentence. Babe, I don't... Yeah, catch on to them accents, man. <laughs> this, right? They'll, they'll scam you quick. Pick up on them accidents. I believe in your right as Americans to have guns. I'm not trying to stop you from having guns. All I'm saying is this is my personal belief on the opinion. My opinion on the... Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I don't <laughs> like guns. Right? I'm going to say some things that are just facts. Right? In Australia, we, we had guns. Right? Right up until 1996. And in 1996, Australia had the biggest massacre on earth. Still hasn't been beaten. And... <laughs> Now, after that, they banned the guns. Now, in the 10 years before Port Arthur, there was 10 massacres. Since the gun ban in 1996, there hasn't been a single massacre since. I don't know how or why this happened. Uh, maybe it was a coincidence, right? Now, please understand that I understand that Australia and America are two vastly different cultures with different people, right? I get it. In Australia, we had the biggest massacre on earth, and the Australian government went, that's it, no more guns. And we all went, and we all went, yeah, right, then that seems fair enough. Really. <laughs> now, in America, you have the Sandy Hook massacre where little tiny children died, and your government went, maybe we'll get rid of the big guns? <laughs> and 50% of you went, fuck you, don't take my guns! <laughs> So here's, here's where it gets confusing, right? Now, as I said, I'm all for your Second Amendment rights. I think you should be able to have guns. It's in your constitution. What I'm not for is bullshit arguments and lies. There is one argument and one argument alone for having a gun, and this is the argument. Fuck off. I like guns. <laughs> it's not the best argument, but it's all you've got. And there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with saying, I, I like something, don't take it away from me. But don't give me this other bullshit. The main one is, I need it for protection. I need to protect me. I need to protect my family. <laughs> Wait a minute. The switch up on the, the accent. Bruh, Australians can do American accents so easily. <laughs> Even the British in the UK. Yeah. They all can do our accent easy, and we struggle to do theirs. Yeah, he just sweet. I gotta protect my family. <laughs> really? Is that why they're called assault rifles? Is it? <laughs> Never heard of these fucking protection rifles you speak of? <laughs> protection? What the fuck are you talking about? You, you have a gun in your house, they, you're 80% more likely to use that gun on yourself than to shoot someone else. And people think, well, that'll never happen to me. You don't know that, because you know what? From time to time, we all get sad. <laughs> One day you're happy, then you're sad, and then, oh, oh it was... <laughs> Protection. I had a break-in in Manchester, England, where I was tied up, I had my head cut, they threatened to rape my girlfriend, they came through the window with a machete and a hammer, and Americans always go, well, imagine if you had a gun. And I'm like, all right. I was naked at the time. I wasn't wearing my holster. I wasn't staring at the window, waiting for cunts with machetes to come through. Like, what world do you live in where you're constantly fucking ready? Sorry, y'all. That's true. Being someone who's been in the presence of multiple shootouts, in the presence, in the presence, babe, you know. It's so true, bro. You could be 
the most gun-toting person. And if you just happen to run into the gas station and left your pistol in the car and it it goes down, you, you, you've you been toting the gun for three years and the moment you finally need it, you ain't got it. So that's true. You, you, one no time matter, you let your guard down. The one time. But you, you know, there are those people that they have their gun on them at all. At all times. That's true. I mean, that's true. And then the shower is... I used to be one of those people. <laughs> right, right there by the toilet, sitting on top of the toilet. But yeah. You have guns because you like guns. That's why you go to gun conventions. That's why you read gun magazines. None of you give a shit about the home security. None of you go to home security conventions. None of you read Padlock Monthly. None of you have a Facebook picture of you behind a secure door going, fucking yeah. <laughs> Like, you're gonna be ready if someone comes into your house. You have it at all fucking time. By the way, most people who are breaking into your house just want your fucking TV. You think that people are coming to murder your family? How many fucking enemies do you have? Jeez, you think a lot of yourself if you think everyone's coming to murder you. See, if you have it readily available, it becomes unsafe. You have it in your bedside table, one of your kids picks it up, Thinks it's a toy, shoots another one of your kids. Happens every fucking day. But we'll go, that'll never happen in my house. Because I'm a responsible gun owner. I keep my guns locked in a safe. Then there's no fucking protection! <laughs> Someone comes into the house, you're like, wait there, fuckface. <laughs> oh, you've come to the wrong house here, buddy boy. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay. Is it 32 to the left or 32 to the right? <laughs> your mother's birthday? Why the fuck would I know your fucking mother's birthday? Maybe if you didn't leave the Wait. window open. Why is he asking his children? Wait, or is he asking is his wife? wife? <laughs> and the wife made the safest his mother-in-law fucking birthday. Because it's too hot in here. He wouldn't be getting fucking murdered, right? <laughs> I find the NRA to be hard work. But the fact that they always think the answer is more guns. After Sandy Hook happened, the NRA said, and I quote, none of this would have happened if the teachers had guns. I, I think they're forgetting what school was like. Does anyone remember that casual teacher that used to, whenever she came on to school, that relief teacher came, you and your friends would see her and go, oh, we're gonna make her cry. <laughs> and then she'd stand in front of the class with a bit of chalk and her hands would be shaking. And you'd go, you're never getting married, are you, miss? Never gonna happen for you. Then she'd get back to her 1967 Volkswagen Beetle, she'd be crying over the steering wheel, just, why don't they like me? Let's give and see how things work out. <laughs> and then they go, oh, well, answer to that, we'll just add more guns. They go, we'll put an armed security guard at every school across America. Yeah, that'll work out. The average security guard in America earns $16 an hour. Not a lot of wiggle room to be a fucking hero. <laughs> Someone comes onto the school and and you've got Kevin. <laughs> now, I'm sure Kevin's shit hot at Call of Duty, but it might not fucking cut it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, I understand that when I'm doing this joke in this room, 50% of you agree with me, 50% of you don't agree with me. And I do respect the people who don't agree with me. Don't think I don't. Out uh, of the 50% that don't agree with me, 20% of those people are smart enough to realise this is a comedy show and it's not to be taken seriously and they're laughing along because it's just funny jokes, right? And then the next 20% are sort of phased out a little bit and looking around going, I wonder how they got that chandelier up there. <laughs> and then there's the last 10% and they're fucking furious. <laughs> right now in this room, and the people watching at home, 10% of you are fucking seething. Just... <laughs> and for a couple of reasons. First reason, I'm making good points. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, 
shit. That's it. <laughs> hey, okay, Jim Jeffries. Send the Jim Jeffrey clips. I got to right, hear the we'll rest get, of we'll this. Some more, right? Right. If this is just part one, I might just look for another part right now. That was funny, and he's it right. Was. Oh man, it, it, it's so because we think about stuff like that, like bro, get a gun safe. You get a gun safe. What's the point? You go, somebody. So you get the alarm system, and you're thinking, okay, if somebody set off the alarm, either they're gonna run. Or it's going to take them a second to get to me. So I guess I got time to go to the safe and get the gun and load. But then you got a kid in the house. So you don't want to keep the gun loaded in the safe. So now when you open the safe, because you don't know if the kid going to get in the safe, you got to <laughs> load the gun, put one in the head. By that time, bro, buddy already at your back with the, like, bro, come on, put that shit down. Matter of fact, give it to me. I'm going to take it. So, mm. But then sometimes that's not how it happened. You do got enough time to get to the safe and blam somebody. But anyways, like, comment, share. Please, please, please subscribe. Until next time. Peace. Peace.